Hey Snackers, Randy here, Debbie, Debbie here. here, and we got a special guest for you, Corinne. Hey! <laughs> she's an actual chef. Boom. Wow! Today she's going to make something special. I asked her if she would sell her recipe ever, and she said no. No. You're going to hear what she's going to tell you what she's going to make for us today. I am going to make peanut butter soy glazed wings. Ooh, hey. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's turned up. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> Peanut butter, soy glazed wings. I'm so hungry. Mm. I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to take that. All that mixture. Just, just, it sounds amazing. Just let it. So now what we're gonna do is Corinne here is gonna get everything set up and she's gonna show you how she makes her wings. She's not gonna tell you the secrets, but she'll show you what she does. So get ready to see our the step by steps of the. Peanut butter. Soy. Glaze. Wings. <laughs> Let's go. Here I have about a little over two pounds of chicken wings sectioned off already with the flats and the drumettes separated. So before anything, I always like to hit chicken with some form of acid, be it vinegar, lime, whatever. In this case, lime works well. So I'm just gonna squeeze some lime juice in there. About the juice of one lime should be good for these amount of wings. Then massage. Show your wings some love. Well next, I'm going to drizzle about a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil or any kind of neutral oil. You can use canola, it works just fine. Because we're baking these wings, we're not necessarily frying them, so but the oil will get that skin nice and crisp, just how we would like it. And then I'm also going to season it with some Chinese five spice. Chinese five spice. I actually haven't seen or heard of Chinese five spice. It's, it's the bomb. What's so it? what's spices? in it is clove, oh. anise, mm -hmm. cinnamon, and what else? Fennel. Oh, yeah. Cool. And black pepper. So five. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. So now I hit it up with the Chinese five spice. Now we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper to taste. You know your preference. And then go in with your hands. Mix it all in there. Now you can do this right away. You can do this a few hours ahead. You can do this step even the night before if you wanted to. All right, so now that we got our chicken nice and seasoned with the five spice, some salt and pepper, the oil, we're just gonna put it all on the sheet tray. I already preheated the oven to 375 degrees. And then we're gonna throw it in for about 30 to 35 minutes. So guys, the chicken is cooking and now we're gonna make the sauce. Yes. Okay. So what I like to start with is peanut butter. Mm. Now we use just regular creamy peanut butter. I did put it in the microwave for a little bit just so we can loosen up and you know, make I, stirring easier. I do have a question though. What's up? What, what got you to put peanut butter on wings? Yeah. You know, I stumbled across a recipe that had peanut butter and jelly. I know, and I didn't try it, but. Wings? Yes, on wings, on wings. But then I was like, you know what? I <laughs> love, you know, using sweet soy, soy sauce, all of that. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll do that, you know? Mm. That's I think it's oh, so you, right. you kind of create, you you put a spin on this. I put a spin on it. Okay. She put it, that's a chef. I don't so it's her own twist thing. to it, it's, it's her own twist, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can take that if you want. Oh, thank you. I seriously thought, you know, it was like a recipe that you knew, and uh, okay, all right. So this is even better. Yeah. This is from so scratch. It's our own recipe, yes. guys. Yes. Mod I, I I was inspired, and then I modified and did my own thing. So now I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna use a ginger paste and a garlic paste. So oh. I don't know, you know, you know, but I'm a mom of two. Oh, so man. I any shortcuts that I can do that's like quick and easy, I'm all about it. I, I'm all shortcuts. about it as well. Okay, I kind of have like a semi homemade vibe about my cooking too at home. Okay. So now we just added some ginger 
And again, this is all to taste. So if you love ginger, go crazy with the ginger. Mm. If you love garlic, go crazy with the garlic. I don't know about I love garlic. I love garlic. I like garlic. And all I right, like ginger. So what are you adding now? Now we're adding soy sauce. Mm. This, well, it smells like I'm in a Thai Chinese restaurant right it now. It does. So she said about a quarter and a cup of soy sauce. Quarter of a cup. Uh, do you hear the chicken? It's sizzling. <laughs> it's it's percolating. It's popping. <laughs> Danger. Hey. I can't wait to eat it. Danger. So I'm hungry, guys. Tell you. We need a sweet element. Sweet. Oh. So I use sweet soy sauce. Mm. Now, if you don't have sweet soy sauce, mm -hmm. honey is fine. If okay. you don't have any honey, brown sugar. Wow. If you don't okay. have any brown sugar, sugar. But I'm in. I'm in heaven. So this right is now. like sweet. I'm like in heaven savory. right now. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't handle this. Oh, I just want to drink. Open it. I just want to drink this. <laughs> Me too. I mean. You smell it though, right? Oh. Yeah, it smells amazing. I just told you I smell like I'm in like. Oh, it's thick. It's super thick. Okay. It's 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 syrupy. It's about like two to three tablespoons of it. It smells so good. So now when this goes on the chicken, mm -hmm. this is gonna caramelize on there, and it's gonna like you know be sticky. <laughs> Sidebar: This is I'm not practicing. a be cute type of meal. Like you're gonna get in there. Our hands are gonna get dirty. You're gonna get dirty. Okay. Gonna get sticky. I'm all for it. All of that. All right, so now I'm gonna give y'all the secret. No! What? Come close. It's ketchup. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall ketchup, back. Guys. Fall back. <laughs> so the secret ingredient <laughs> is ketchup, guys. You heard right it here first. on Snack X. <laughs> Nobody got this. This is live. I usually don't tell folks what's going on, but you know, catch up. You know, you, you know, we're family here, so I'm just letting you know. It's gonna be good. Do you see I the smile it. on my face right now? Like you ketchup on anything? No, I don't even care about Maybe. the goddamn ketchup. I'm, I care <laughs> that this whole thing is mixed like a mixture for the goddamn chicken. Yeah, it's so it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, and then I will just hit it with just a little drizzle of the veggie oil, okay. just a little bit. You know, just to make it glossy and sexy. We want our food. So we're gonna hit it with a juice of a lime. Mm. Oh, this is a good juicy lime. So this is kind of turning into like a vinaigrette type of thing. Yeah. Kind of, a little bit. You're giving you a little vinny vibe. A little, but a little it's acid. Turning so food, a, a it's turning into food, It's turning into food. A little acid. <laughs> no, it's turning into goddamn food. It's gonna be amazing. You know, you're kind of getting all everything, like the sweet, the mm -hmm. sour, a little salty, acidity. you know. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. The ketchup actually is just like, it's not like you're gonna taste ketchup per se. It's just, it's just gonna make it all okay. balanced and well-rounded in flavor. And like I said, I asked her if she would sell this recipe. And what did you say, Corinne? I said no. How about if I wanna write my own book, my own legacy? You hear that? It's for me. Is it? It? Mixing yeah. all the ingredients together. Mm -hmm. Do you smell that though? It's amazing. It smells so good. You smell the garlic, the ginger. Yo. All right, I'm giving a thumbs up for the smell. Amazing. The smell is good. Double hey. thumbs up. Th already, I didn't even try it. Winning. We didn't even eat hey. the wings yet, guys. Hey, let me tell you something. Karim might get a thumbs down. Let me tell you something. Why? You never know. The wings might not be good. No, they're going to be delicious. I'm just you know, saying. I'm being realistic. What, what did I tell you earlier? Khalees has her milkshakes. I have these wings. It brings everybody to the Thumbs dark. up. That was a good one. That's a thumbs up. That was <laughs> that's, good. That's how I get it. I'm so <laughs> She's so I'm slow. a little slow. Oh, Lord. You want to grab a spoon? Take okay. it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, she. I, Let me get a spoon. She was spoon. quick. Oh, you're doing it that way. Yeah. Huh? The icy way. Boom. That hurt my heart. That was delicious. Don't lie to me now. Keep that was. No, no. That was. Mm. Guys? I'm blocking her out the way. <laughs> what? I'm going to stand back. What? I'm going to stand back. This right here? Crack. <laughs> this right here, I can literally take a scoop and just eat it without the wings. Mm. That already tells you it's dangerous. <laughs> Dangerously good. Let me walk out this, this picture. Okay. I just want to say one thing though with this mix. Mm -hmm. For those who like it spicy, you can throw in the sriracha in there. Ooh. Dead. That's just, Dead. if you want to take it to a spicy level, throw in Dead. the sriracha. Dead, we love. Spicy or if food. you want kochujang, throw that in there. Mm -hmm. What? All right, well, just me. Make it, make Thank it you. For the Can tip. we put the scotch bonnet in it? Oh. oh. But anyways, back back to this wing situation. Okay. 
So now, you know, do you have to wait for the wings to come out of the oven and cool down first before, before you, you put it on? No, actually what we're gonna do, mm -hmm. we have it in the oven, we know we're gonna keep it in there for about like 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so. Okay. We're gonna pull it while it's hot, mm -hmm. toss it in this bowl, Ooh. toss it all together, yeah. crank the oven to like 400 degrees, mm -hmm. and then throw it back in there for about maybe like Real five, quick, yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Just to get it. It was nice and crispy? Yes. Oh. Pour it right in, juice and all. Mm. It smells amazing. So then now we can go in with some tongs. <laughs> <laughs> we can mix it all around. I wish you guys could smell what we smell. It's amazing, delicious. Yeah, you wanna make sure you get it all coated. Yeah. And the sauce is actually sticking to the wings. Mm -hmm. are, are you? Are you excited? He's just saying, like, <laughs> are you excited? Are you tart right now? He's What's going on? Woo! <laughs> I don't even know how I feel, girl. I, mean, <laughs> I got all the emotions, like all crying, the suspense. Mm. Felt like I <laughs> see him laughing. <laughs> but this is. Uh, wow. This is so now at. remember, we did crank the oven up to 400 degrees. Yep. It was at 375 before. Mm -hmm. Now we got, all, got it all sauced up. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put it at a higher heat. We want the sauce to stick and bubble. Okay. The wings are here. Pull them out the oven, sprinkled a little cilantro, some scallions on there, and you can serve this as is. This is perfect for game days. This is perfect for game nights. This is a gathering, appetizer, or you can turn this into a whole entree. Have a bowl of steamed rice, jasmine rice. Season that up with some cilantro, coconut. That'd be really good too. So, are you guys ready to taste? Yeah! The chicken is done. Moment it's of truth. Ready. Moment of truth. We're gonna give you a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Mm -hmm. If it sucks, mm -hmm. doubt it. I doubt it too. The smell is just the absolutely the smell. amazing. The smell. Are you ready, Randy? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? All right, again. Bon appetit. Which chicken am I gonna get first here? Mm, this drum is I, There's some me. drums in there, I so I... you, you both can have the drums. Guys, ready? I love my job. I love my job too. Uh, Ooh, it's hot. Look at that steam. Well, it's silent, so. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. There's, there's some sounds. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Wait, I got a thumbs up. Wait. I got a thumbs up. I'm Debbie. What about you? How what? do you feel? I don't got enough thumbs. <laughs> I don't got enough thumbs. I would give it like 14 thumbs up. Hey. It is good. But like I said, I don't, got, I don't got enough thumbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. But. Good job, Kerman. So it's is, amazing. Is, is the chicken bringing everyone to the yard? Yes. The yard, for girl. sure. They're coming to the football field, mm. the, the stadium, stadium. Okay. The, all right, the court, right. tennis, everywhere. tennis court, everywhere. NASCAR Speedway. Mm -hmm. Damn right, it's better than yours. Mm -hmm. Wow. She got to teach you, but she's gonna have to charge. Yeah. 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 Come on, dig in. Yeah. I didn't even know <laughs> that she has to try it too. You have to. You have to. Oh god, I can't even talk about it anymore. That's good. So comment below if you want to know the actual like measurements of mm -hmm. this recipe. Well, add it in. This is this is the first, but not the last that you're gonna see of Corinne. Mm -hmm. All right, on her uh, apron here. This is her Instagram, mm -hmm. Corinne C eighty three. Hey. Subscribe. Click the notifications. Click, click. Give us a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. All right. Snack X, we're out. Bye, snackers. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell above and give this video a thumbs up.